This is Matthew Butler, and this is going to be a little tutorial on how to use the six little uh, lower thirds here. So when you download it, you have six folders. When you go into one, you have a preview image, which you can open up and you can get the basic gist of what it looks like. And all of them have it, so you can easily just see, oh, this is what I, I need to get, or this is not what I need to get. And then there are some, like you just saw in number three, that have pre-rendered file in it that has uh, footage from uh, extra third-party plugins. So if you don't have the plugins, then you'd want to open up this guy. If you do, you can open up this guy and make different modifications to it, whatever. So I'm just going to hop into the first one, zero, 01, open it up and you can see that this is basically just your lower third right here um, in the your uh, project here you can see put left text here you can open that up and you just put your text here Matthew Butler and I'll go butlerm.com and that's all you need to do then you go into the left one, since that was the left text here. Open up animation left, which is right there. And you'll see my name right there. Now if you want to make modifications to the color, you just select this first layer that's called change color. And you just modify this a little bit. And you can also modify that one and you'll Get basically whatever variety color you want and it's pretty straightforward now if you wanna um, have the transition be longer or shorter for it to fade off to off the screen say they're on the screen for like let's say seven seconds and want to transition outward then easy thing to do just select all of these that are in this big group here that are all on the same time and bring them all over to where you want it to be seven seconds in and then go one frame before that and easily just select all of these that are all on the same time area that butted up against this you just drag it out. So now it'll be seamless through the whole thing and it'll be about eight, nine seconds long instead of five seconds or six seconds, whatever it just was. So that's pretty straightforward. All of the projects are basically set up that way. So let's just hop into one more, one or two more. Let's go to a pre-rendered one. same deal put left and this one it is separated in two different files so the lower line is on its own composition Matthew Butler second line butlerm.com and then hop into the animation left see the text right there and you can number one layer go to change color effects just mess around with the color you notice the change text color changes that color the text and um, you'll notice that you can't really get the text color that bright because I have an effect on the text a darken so if you wanted to change it to be a brighter color you're gonna have to go into here like add so if you want to do that, you need to make sure, yeah, it's kind of complicated, not as simple if you wanted to add a lighter color for that, but pretty straightforward. Just select your put left text here, and then you'll have to select the outro as well. So same thing if you wanted to extend this one, select all these that are all the same, drag it out to let's say seven seconds. 
let's go to the end of that let's go one more frame and then just select all these and it should be seamless oh it's not seamless though there's a layer turning off that I didn't grab. And it'll animate right off. So perfect transition. Same thing goes for the right side. If you wanted to have text on the right, same exact setup, except your text is on the right and you use the put right name and put secondary line here instead. Let's hop into another one. Let's go into six pre-rendered one and you'll notice that this one exact same setup let's go just right into the um, effects here with the change color you notice this one set up a little bit differently you set up uh, an exact color instead of a hue saturation so you can uh, just modify it like that instead of just an area color this modifies it to be an exact color same thing as well you can just drag all these to wherever it needs to be if it's not 14 seconds long on the screen and just drag all of these over to where that one starts and it will animate off Let's open up uh, another one here. I know one of these is a little bit different for the outro. I want to make sure that you guys know what you're doing for that one. And it's this right here. Same thing. Put left text, you know, put right text. Let's open up the left one. Now if you wanted, this one is special because there is this layer that is longer than the other layers. This red layer. So let me drag this up. So if you wanted to make this longer, let's say, you're going to have to select these bottom ones as well for the outro. Let's say it wants to go right here. Sounds good. Now for this one, for the these at the beginning, you have to select all of these again. Drag them out. And then you're going to want to change the opacity on this glow layer, layer 16, because that one, there's no possible way of creating the effect that um, you need for the outro besides manually doing it. So you're going to have to go in just to the uh, transparency opacity layer here and just drag this like right here and it'll disappear on the screen and work out perfect for you thing blam renders ready to go so that's basically your tutorial on how to use these six lower thirds they're pretty straightforward and I hope uh, this tutorial was helpful for people that need it enjoy <laughs>